sunshine and showers. In fact, that's the way it continues all week long. I'm at Beach Ahead looking at coastal erosion and the impacts of climate change in the UK. We look across the UK because for the UK as a whole, so far this summer, so June, July and August we've had so far, rainfall is around about average and temperatures are above average. But it's the southeast where we've had way above average rainfall with these torrential thunderstorms and heavy rainfall events. In fact, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England have had rainfall way below average. But in a world we're talking about today, this really important climate change report coming out, summers for us will be in the UK hotter and drier. That trend has been there for the last 30 years, hotter and drier. But when we get rainfall, because of warmer air holds, more moisture, like the torrential thunderstorms we've seen, the days of heavy rain will increase. So this will sort of be the future of our summer weathers. Spells of hot, we have that heat wave, and then spells of these heavy, thundery downpours. And talking about the climate change report, 234 scientists came together to put this report out. It's the most important one we'll have seen for a very long time. You'll be hearing about it today. It comes out actually at 9 o'clock this morning, but it's all about how the science has changed, how much more knowledge and information we have about climate change and the report talk about impacts right across the world from the melting sea ice to raising sea levels to coastal erosion and the impacts on all of us. So it will be really, really interesting and we're here today to look at the coastal erosion that's happening along the south coast, one of the places with the worst erosion in the UK. The lighthouse behind me has been moved back because of the coastal erosion and there's around about 7,000 homes at risk of being falling into the sea in by the end of the century and then thinking about the flooding around the coast of the UK half a million homes currently at risk of coastal flooding by 2080 that could be one and a half million so that's why this report today is just so important but weather wise in truth for summer style so far it is raining here this morning but the week ahead is really one of sunshine and showers the radar shows heavy rain for southeastern areas of England that will move away as we head through the day then Scotland Northern Ireland Northern England sunshine and heavy showers elsewhere more sunshine actually tomorrow Charlotte doesn't look too bad oh lovely that's good news Laura thanks very much more on that climate change report coming up I'll be speaking to the the former leader of the Green. Good morning to you. We continue to have an unsettled theme of weather. Heavy rain is arriving at the moment where we are this morning. We're at Beachy Head. We're looking at the coastal erosion. The lighthouse behind me has had to be moved back from the coast due to the fact that the coast here has been eroding. Around the UK, there are thousands of homes at risk of coastal erosion. And we're looking at this big climate change report today. And one thing that will impact the UK with the rising temperatures are rising sea levels. And at the moment, there is about half a million homes at risk of flooding around the coast. But if we do nothing, projections are there could be as much as one and a half million homes by 2080 so that'll be something that we'll be hearing more about as we head through the day but weather wise it's low pressure that stays close by low pressure brings with it heavy rain strong winds and also showers and they stay in the forecast every day this week but at the moment the heaviest of them is through southern and southeastern areas of England where we are first thing this morning they're fairly scattered elsewhere now as we head through the day this band of more organized rain and showers for southeastern areas of England slowly edge its way eastwards further north for Scotland Northern Ireland northern areas of England sunshine and heavy showers elsewhere sunny spells and a few light showers but temperatures in the sunshine around about average maybe just above 23 are high so let's take a look at our seven day outlook it's very important for this week for scotland northern ireland northern areas of england temperatures pretty much sit around about average maybe just a little above with the best of any sunshine but looking at our percentage chance of rainfall and also our weather symbols we stick with these showers they'll be heavy they'll be thundery and with that it's sort of a 50 60 percent chance i don't think the showers this week as heavy or as frequent as the ones we'll have seen last week and things tend to turn a little drier as we head into the weekend. Fortunes further south for England and Wales. Well, again, temperature-wise, it sits around about average. Some places with the best of any sunshine will be a little bit above, but percentage chance of rainfall, again, the weather symbols show it's mostly showers. Most of them will be further north, so actually further south, it's more sunny spells with a few scattered showers, but hints that we could see some wetter weather returning as we head into the end of the weekend next week. And one thing we're here to talk about is coastal erosion around the UK. This big climate change report today will be talking about all aspects of how the science has improved with our better knowledge, the impact it'll have around the world and across the UK, sea levels rising, bigger storms hitting coasts, and there are thousands of homes at risk of falling into the sea and half a million homes at risk of coastal flooding because of huge storms. And by the end of 2080, that could be as much as one and a half million. So coastal areas like this, where the lighthouse behind me has already been moved 
back away from the coast because of erosion are going to see more of the same. Weather-wise, though, we've been talking about a summer of sunshine and showers, and that is set to continue for today and for much of this week. The radar shows rain across southeastern areas of England this morning. It's fairly heavy, lots of spray on the roads, and it will slowly track eastwards through the day. Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, sunny spells and showers, some of those heavy and thundery in between in the sunshine. Top temperatures 23 degrees. Tomorrow doesn't look too bad, more sunshine than showers, and the rest of the week continues sunshine and showers, but not as heavy as those of last week. Good morning to you. We are at Beachy Head this morning on the south coast of England because today there's a huge climate change report. It's embargoed until nine o'clock. You'll be hearing all about it through the day today. But one of the big impacts of climate change in the UK will be rising sea levels, coastal erosion, and places like this will be pummeled even more. The south coast is one of the worst places for erosion and this lighthouse here behind me has already been moved inland in 1999 because of the erosion of the coast here. Weather-wise though, let's move on with that because it's a day of sunshine and showers, in fact a week of them but not as heavy or as frequent as the ones we saw last week. Today we have heavy rain across southeastern areas of England, a lot of spray on the roads from this as it heads its way eastwards. Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, sunshine and heavy thundery showers today but in the sunshine top temperatures are 23 degrees and if it's wet where you are today, tomorrow for many of us is looking drier. That's it for me for now. There's plenty more still to come. You're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV. Yes, it has been a month of sunshine and showers, well, sunshine and thunderstorms, and it literally is sunny one minute, rain the next, and that is the theme for what's set to happen for the rest of this week. That is the story that we have at the moment, but we have got the latest satellite and radar picture showing what a heavy band of rain across southeastern areas of England. The wind is coming, we're looking that way. It is very soon going to turn very wet where we are this morning on the south coast. But as we head through the day, that whole band of rain across the southeast clears through. Then brighter skies will follow behind. Northern England, Scotland, and northern areas of England and Northern Ireland, sunshine and heavy showers, again, the name of the game today. But with some sunshine, actually it will be very nice. 23 degrees, our top temperature. Fewer showers tomorrow, the rest of the week, again, sunshine and showers, but not as frequent or as heavy as they've been over the last few days.